Hello trainers, Kaneto here and today we're diving together into Great League with Sadu Zabdos, finally it happened, the amazing era of Great League is back, so we're having the Galarian Stanfisk upon the lead, the Sadu Drapion as our safe switch, you know how much I love this Pokemon on the safe switch spot, definitely the only one that has no counters at all, everything is absolutely playable and of course Sadu Zabdos as our closer. So here we're gonna be able to do a lot of work against this Aboma Snow and that is looking pretty wonderfully good since we are having now those aqua tails able to pressure for that not very effective knockout which is neat weather ball now can be taken and to be honest Stanfish can get out of here with a lot of energy under its sleeve so we're just gonna go ahead and keep taking those moves we don't care at all able to farm down that aboma snow they return with the med jump and guess what the big earthquake is coming off they are gonna take it expecting the bait and at the back they have a wall rose. What I want to do here is to potentially take that shield out of play, but as I can see, I might made a huge mistake. They are gonna be able to reach to their move, which is kind of bad for me now because they still have energy and perhaps they can outspeed me to the next move. So I have only one choice here to go for the total farm down, and we can achieve that. So down they go, pretty wonderful, executed. So we're just gonna take this amazing win to start off the video. Uh, Zoomer in the next one, not looking that great, just gonna retreat to my Shadow Drapion and now we have those Aqua Tails which are gonna do super effective damage but still not enough to threat a lot that Galarian Stunfisk of my opponent. However, I have farmed so much that I'm pretty sure they're gonna throw uh, this Rock Slide, still survive and reach to another one before fainting. We can start uh, provoking some shields into play and because I'm feeling too cocky I want to go for that next Aqua Tail. However, However, I cannot and at this point I have to return into the battle with my Galarian Stunfisk for the mirror. However, they are gonna get to the earthquake for big damage and I can expect here a rock slide but still impressively they went for the earthquake which is bad for me but now with the Galarian Stunfisk out of the way knowing they have the Azumarill perhaps they are completely weak to my Sado Zabdos and the two seals. Azumarill returns able to reach the Thunderbolt but still not enough to finish it off right on time which is a bummer let's see what they have at the back it is gonna be the shadow dinosaur let's get to the drill pack for the one shot scenario that was a motorbike coming out of nowhere outside and make some noise i hope you did not listen to that stunfisk returns and we're gonna be able to completely farm down that pokemon with the thunder socks from the shadow zados amazing stuff happening over here into the next one now and we're having that Sebelai with those foul plays. I'm just gonna take one on the switch and I know their switch locked so that's why I wanted to store some energy before switching out so now my Shadow Drapion can do a lot of work up against them. I know here that if I can block that return this is gonna be pretty huge for me so doing so means that we can definitely finish off the Sebelai while we still have some energy to spend for the next Pokemon and Shadow Drapion with energy is always gonna be lethal to towards whatever the opponent decides to bring so it is gonna be a mobile on shadow form which was their lead pokemon and at this point we got one more going through look at the damage pretty crazy already and because this is fairy wind i'm not expecting power up or anything just the big nook down we go at the back there is gonna be the glide score but hopefully we have some energy stored up on our galar and stunfisk as well those drill packs are gonna hurt a lot the glide score and i'm pretty sure i can survive the first night slash as well well, while those wing attacks are registering only not very effective damage which can be taken by our glassy Pokemon. Another drill pack here on the CMP I believe and yeah it is gonna be the CMP wonderfully done here and now my Galarian Stunfish will just finish off the job with a simple rock slide look at how much energy we have they need so much pressure from the Pokemon that they cannot do it with just the glide score so down they go into the next one now and we're having the Azumarill once again up on the lead so this is not good at all uh, I do not like Azumarill like in my Stunfish but this time I want to stay in because I know that most Azumarills do not even run Hydro Bump Taking advantage of that, we're gonna get hit by a simple uh, Ice Beam and now gonna switch out to all, with all that energy towards my Shadow Drapion. So Shadow Drapion is able to once again provoke out of nowhere uh, that uh, Galarian Stunfisk, which is my severe counter to that 
that was Zapdos. And this is the strategy between this team. I want to provoke that ground type, that lantern, that whatever they have that my Sado Zapdos is afraid of with my Sado Drapion, taking out this Pokemon with my Galarian Stanfisk, and then perhaps we can have a very nice and clear scenario with our Sado Zapdos against whatever remains at the back. At this point, they are gonna have the red still, so we're looking at a pretty nice, uh, wonderful done uh, executed plan here with our Sado Zapdos and the two shields against the world. I'm pretty sure that even with the Zap Cannon and the debuff, we are still gonna be in a very good spot with that double Thunderbolt up against them. So here comes the next one. Look at the damage, they cannot take it at all, and we still have one more ready to go. However, I want to stall a little bit, charge up to 100 energy, clear that debuff, trying to catch in the pros. Of course, this is not gonna happen at all, and as it seems, I can fairly easily reach here to that earthquake. Big damage on the Azu, still not enough to finish it off right, right on time. And as it seems, they have a lot of energy to spare, so I'm just gonna reach to this rock slide, but I'm pretty sure they have charged up to the next ice beam. So what I want to do here is to immediately get to that drill pack, down goes the Azumarill in a very nice way, and the Thunderbolt will connect right after to the red still with no seals, and that's gonna secure my victory. Sado Zabdos going to town, into the next one now with the lantern upon the lead. So this is basically a good lead, but still it can end on both ways if they play that sealed scenario pretty nicely. Uh, so I'm just gonna go straight for those earthquakes, not gonna prolong things anymore. And I'm pretty glad that lantern is out of the way and is facing my Stunfisk because we're having a lot of options up against that Pokemon uh, with uh, my Stunfisk, of course, since my backline is not gonna do a lot of work up against that lantern. Down they go on the second try, they have the ghost type and they're not gonna switch out. So here comes now the crunch of my own, are they gonna expect the damage and respect it, not at all trainers, look at the damage, pretty nicely done, and now we can safely go ahead and completely farm down. Those poison stings are gonna get us there to the next crunch, fairly easy, and now we can reach another run unless they want to throw. Here comes now the sky attack, down goes my shadow dragon, but to be honest, they have a severely hurt Frostlass and Noctowl which stands no chance at all against my Zapdos and blocking the Shadow Ball pretty much sums up this victory for our team. Able to get now to that drill pack, they are gonna block it but we don't care at all, another one for the victory, let's get it and Frostlass has no energy at all to do any severe work up against our Pokemon. Uh, Sado Galvantula, this is not looking that well for them and now with the Miltank on the switch, what are you doing trainer, let's get now to those earthquakes, bad news though is that I cannot switch out, so that Galvantula might be kinda problematic if they can do solid work with that Miltank, however you can see that those ice beams are not gonna do enough work up against my Stunfisk, so this is looking pretty uh, nice for my Fisk and at this point I'm gonna expect the third Pokemon to emerge which is gonna be the Trevenant, and guess what? We got two solid options for that Trevenant at the back with Shadow Zapdos and Shadow Drapion. So able to get the shield out of that Pokemon while the Galvantula is returning. Shadow Galvantula with the Lance, we cannot survive that. Uh, most probably from a regular run we could survive, but the Shadow from a Shadow, uh, well, this is not gonna work towards our advantage. Anyways, they return now with that Trevenant, and guess what? We got the back-to-back -back rock slides for big damage on the Trev. They need to get to the Shadow Ball, I know that, so yeah, they're gonna do it, and here it is, the Shadow Zapdos emerges with two shields, and guess what trainers, we're just gonna go to town, so a ticket please to the nearest town or the village for my opponent, because I'm just gonna go for the shield on the seed bomb, and we still got the drill pack for big damage on the shield, and one more for the victory. Look at how easy it is for the Zapdos to get those wins back to back, all the time, so let's see now a Noctowl up on the lead, and oh boy, I remember this one, the outfit from this trainer, yeah, uh, so they're having a water gun user at the back on the face of the lantern, which is pretty neat as a safe switch, especially against the Stanfisk, I do not appreciate it, so here comes my Drapion out of nowhere. Uh, so with that in mind, 
I'm still kinda confident that we can do a lot of work with my other two Pokemon against that Noctowl. So let's see how this is gonna unfold because I can still reach even after the Surf with my Crunch for that heavy hitting Knockout on the Lantern. So now we are both even on Shields. I'm gonna uh, go for that Earthquake pretty late here. So here comes the Surf but hopefully it was not pressed at all so we get that refund and of course the Rock Slide will just finish off the work up against the lantern at the back they have the medicham so it's all up to my shadow zapdos and as you can see a lot of trainers are pretty weak to shadow zapdos uh, so here comes now the drill pack for big damage on the medi they are gonna take it but still medicham can survive because it is the best generalist in the game overall able to get that last shield out of them but still we are shieldless which means that this move is just gonna dominate against our pokemon and of course they can easy farm down our next uh, and final uh, severely hurt Galarian Stanfisk which is pretty bad. Anyways that was a well played battle by my opponent, GG's to them but now we need to focus into the final one because we're having on the switch a very bad one on the face of Obstagoon. I'm pretty sure though that we can definitely take a shield out of them, they already used it pretty early and now we can still reach another one but they want to sacrifice uh, some energy in the process, I don't know what was their thinking here but still I like it because now my Shadow Zabdos can definitely go in and start storing some crucial energy. I'm counting the moves at this point, I know uh, that every single uh, five of those counters they can reach the move so I'm just gonna go ahead and take advantage of that and at the fact that I can easily get those CMPs towards my end. I know that uh, the Trevenant, they had the Trevenant right? And now we are gonna go for those uh, Thunderbolts on the Red Steel. We got to respect the damage though from those moves because we are super glassy and of course another thunderbolt is coming off not gonna get to the drill pack not yet they are gonna take it now they return with the trevenant but to be honest we still have a single uh drill pack ready to go adjust for them now the shadow ball is gonna do a lot of damage to our pokemon but now my back to back moves are definitely gonna threat those shields out of play here comes another one they have to block otherwise they're just gonna go down and with that i'm pretty sure we have secured our victory against the trainer because the drill pack is imminent and Zabdos can definitely take those CMPs with ease. So that is gonna be a wrap for today's video, Shadow Zabdos for the win, let's get it and that is gonna be all for today's video. Thank you for watching trainers, just be sure to leave a huge like before you go, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and if you want to support even more, well joining as a member can always help with that matter. Thank you once again and I hope to see you all into the next one, take care trainers!